Holler ballers, what's going on? It's Preachy. And uh, no, you're waiting for the enhanced shaman gameplay. I'm sorry. The video that I shot for that, I actually was editing it and thought, this is pretty crap. This isn't up to our usual standard, so I just deleted it. Boosh! And when I went on the beta realms to re-record, the dungeons are in fact closed. Oh, sad face, egg on my chin. Absolute loser town for me. But whatever, we'll get it done in the next couple of days. No big deal at all. I'm sure Blizzard will fix it. This one is a sort of unusual one, as no doubt you already have this add-on. Most people do. It's one of the most popular add-ons in the entire game. It's massively downloaded by everybody, but nobody ever configures it right. How weird is that, that so many people have it, yet so little people know how to use it or get the most out of it? I always find that kind of stuff quite interesting to me as a person. And we also have this years old debate, deadly boss mods versus bigwigs, blah, 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 blah. So what is a boss mod? Essentially, it's an add-on that has timers built into it. So when we go up against these big, scary bosses, that we have timers for when they're about to do stuff. So we've got this fan. The boss is a fan. And we've got this huge pile of turd, which we'll say is us. And turd A is flying at uh, fan B, and we are just waiting to know how long it's going to take before those two collide and make a big splodgy mess all over our screen. We need to know. We need to prepare for it. Tanks need to prepare for it. We need to prepare for it. Healers need to prepare for it. Everybody needs to know when stuff's about to go down, and boss mods allow us to do that. Very, very cool. Very nice. Uh, in terms of the deadly boss mods versus big wigs issue, Personally, I actually prefer deadly boss mods, but endgame raiders all use big wigs because it's very easily configurable while we're fighting bosses that literally we know nothing about. If you're fighting bosses that have been out for months and months or even weeks and weeks, use whichever boss mod you prefer, quite frankly, because they will have the timers already inputted into them. Just make sure you download uh, the latest add-ons. Please do that. People who don't do that make me very, very sad. Oh, uh, okay. So we're looking to our add-ons folder. We've got bigwigs and bigwigs encounters. Okay, so we'll look at the first screen straight of all. Now, bigwigs is lovely in the fact that it's very, very easy to set up. We can see here we want to use sounds. We want to use flash. We want to use raid icons on people. We want the screen to shake if shit should go down. This broadcast one is very, very cool as well. If people are slacky on updating their add-ons and you are a raid leader or some sort of authority figure in your raid and you are very 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 good at downloading the latest add-on packs and all that kind of stuff then likely during new encounters that have just freshly been released like we'll see in the early days of mr pandaria is add-ons like bigwigs will be updated on a daily basis now before your raid you might be the absolute baller who goes out and makes sure he's got the latest bigwigs no doubt someone in your raid won't do that by activating this broadcast icon, you can actually just signify important warnings that other people might not have and still broadcast them out to people who are using bigwigs. Very, very cool, okay? You can account for people's laziness, and accounting for other people's laziness is always good. Always, always good. Uh, the other one is whisper warnings. I actually think this is very cool. So many people now download chat add-ons, be it to copy links from chat and all that kind of stuff. Hey, check my funny picture of... Britney Spears shaving her head or whatever it might be or my cool Megan, po Megan Fox picture. People like to be able to copy and paste those links so they download chat add-ons. Now, chat add-ons tend to come with emphasized whispers as well. So when they get a whisper, they get a huge warning about the whisper. If you've got people who are preferable to have that, select whisper warnings and when you broadcast you will also send them a whisper to say you are the bomb get the hell out of our raid god damn it you're the bomb yeah and it could make you so mad that even with all these boss mods and stuff that they're not able to pick up on these warnings whisper warnings is just another way of doing that very cool little icon this other stuff here, the important one that isn't very basic. I actually think the uh, Bigwig's tooltips are actually fantastic. So good. Very, very, very well described. It's really cool. This one, block boss movies. Oh my god. How many times have we seen that pissing arc jump out of the boat in Dragon Soul? <sighs> Snow police. I've seen them whiny ass dragon aspects go on about the fact that they're not immortal anymore. Who gives a shit, really? Christ, I'm not immortal. <sighs> so, blocking that Selecting that, block all your boss movies. No longer have to play with them. And you'll see Big Wigs actually give a warning. Blocked various movie. Didn't bother you with it because you've seen it a million times. Some people love those videos. If you do, fair play to you. All the credit to you. I, quite frankly, after seeing it the first time, never want to see it again. Especially when it's as boring as Thrall using his laser death dragon soul on uh, the most badly designed boss ever in the history of World of Warcraft. 
be that Deathwing. <laughs> uh, so that's the easy customizer on the first thing. Then you have this huge bar configure. Now, this is the important stuff, guys. This is one of the two most important things I want to talk to you about. Now, we talked already about this being the important area of your screen. Notice my bars part of Big Wigs, this thing here, this green thing, is actually not in the red circle of justice. This thing here is the stuff that is not going to happen very, very soon, i.e. within the next 10 seconds. This is stuff like Berserk Timers. Big buffs or big explosions or big mighty King Kong style stuff that's going to happen in a little while. This is the stuff that we can glance at just to check up on things, but we don't need to know about it immediately, okay? This is the kind of thing that we need to make sure, have we got a cooldown for the next bleh? Have we got power word barrier for the next bleh? Have I got power infusion for the next bleh? Or whatever it might be. Do I have shield wall for the next bleh? This is the kind of thing we check. I've got a minute and a half left on my shield wall. The ability is in the next minute and 20. Yes, I'll have shield wall. That is a glancing thing. I don't need to in right in the middle of my screen while I'm trying to max my DPS and absolutely pwn face. So we move this bar out of the way. Please, God, do this. So many people have this messy thing here. And that just intermixes with this. And it just gets into a whole spammy clusterfuck of shit right in the middle that sucks balls, quite frankly. Get it out of the way, for God's sake. Because this could be sort of seven or eight bars long in some cases. Really frustrating. What you do want is the emphasize bars. This is stuff that's about to happen in the next 10 seconds in a good solid place. Look at the difference of where the bars are way out of the red circle compared to emphasize bars smack bang in the middle. And I'm going to hit the test button here so you can see that in the next 4, 3, 2, 1. Go bigwigs. Boom. Right in the middle of my screen. It's going to happen in the next 10 seconds. I'm fully aware of it now because it occurred right in my direct vision. Yeah, so easy. And when this runs out, this is your messages bar here. Boom, there you go. This spell has occurred. It's done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> look, see, guys, please know this. Okay, guess. Look at it. I get this all the time. If I'm not replying to you, I'm probably recording. <laughs> I guess you don't like me. <laughs> please be aware, guys. If I don't reply to you, it's because I'm doing something. And this emphasized messages bar we're going to talk about in the next few seconds. You just wait and see we're going to get there. I just want to bring up this bar very quickly. This is super easy to configure, guys. You shouldn't need me to go through this. Uh, it's different fonts, different styles, all that kind of bull crap. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Where you want your text. Do you want it on the right? Do you want it on the center? Do you want it on the left? Do you want countdowns? How big do you want it? If you don't know what scale is by now after all these add-on spotlights, there's something wrong with you, bro. Something very wrong. And emphasize bars. We're going to get that very, very soon. Boosh! Awesome. Uh, the proximity one. Again, you'll notice the proximity bar is actually way out of my field of vision. Why? Because when we have abilities like Chain Lightning is always the classic one. This boss casts Chain Lightning. It hits everybody within four yards of each other. You know what I do? I just go and find myself a nice spot on my own. I don't need an add-on to tell me that people are stood next to me because I have eyes. So I can actually just see that people are stood near me. And I just find a nice open spot. Very, very cool. But if you're not into that and you want to have some sort of flesh, red flash just to say people are stood too cl damn close to you, then cool. Put it somewhere in pond. Like maybe there. Or maybe up here. Or wherever the hell you want it. For me, I just stick it on the side. It's there if I should need it. But in most cases, I can see if someone stood next to me and I'll just move my ass out of the way. Very, very cool. And very simple. I think we all agree. Big waste so far. Very, very nice and basic. I just want to point out that the bars and emphasize bars, I really recommend you drag this bars icon off to the side, out of the way. Uh, somewhere where you can glance at it quickly and then get back to what you're doing. Very cool. Okay. Going back in, we're going to look at the next part. I'm going to skip the rest of it just for now. But I want to look at this, Bigwigs Encounters. This is the second most important thing that I think Bigwigs does. And it's something Deadly Boss Mods doesn't do as far as I know. Or it didn't do when I used to use it. Which is actually a couple of expansions back now. So maybe it does. This is called emphasizing super dodgy spells. Okay. There's always a spell that we're afraid of. Especially if we're new to a new guild. And we haven't done a certain encounter before. In fact, when I joined Method, one of the stupidest things I was worried about was the heroic fading light on Ultraxium. Uh, because at some point, you get the Fading Light debuff, and on Heroic, it can either be sort of 6 seconds, or it can actually only be 1 or 2 seconds. So I didn't want to look like a complete noob cake dying to this Fading Light debuff. It's one of those debuffs where you have to deal with it. It's similar with uh, Madness of Deathwing. There we go. It's similar with Shrapnel. Okay, Shrapnel is one of the things where you need to activate Dream, and if you don't have Shrapnel um, sort of nice and obvious for you you can actually die to that very very quickly so i'm gonna go back to all tracks you know, most people are familiar with the fading light so we have this thing fading light on you 
Okay, fading light on you means you're about to explode and you need to do something about it. Oh, we're kind of worried about it and all that kind of stuff. And we're thinking, God, I hope die to fading light. Big Wigs has this little arrow on the right. Doosh. And we have this option that is never, ever selected. It's switched off by default because switching this on makes your screen go holy god damn whenever these spells come up. So we're looking for this spell, fading light on you. Emphasize. I'm going to read this to you because it's so cool. Enabling this will super emphasize any messages or bars associated with this ability. Messages will be bigger. Bars will flash and have a different color. Sounds will be used to count down when the ability is imminent. Basically, you will notice it. How good is that? That is fantastic. I absolutely love that description. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, what it will do is if you get fading light on you and you have this selected, it will go five. Four, three, and a whole, basically your whole screen will go nuts about caramel. It will absolutely be insane. It really will. It'll be like Ultimate Warrior tearing down the top rope. It's really, really cool. And plus it makes sure that you do not screw it up. And it's a huge weight lifted off your mind. You don't even have to worry about it anymore. Because why? I've set my big wigs to let me know exactly when L spell of death is about to land on my balls. I've got it super emphasized. I am seriously cool. And people who have this option and know about it in big wigs die a hell of a lot less to these abilities. Fun story, on Leech King Heroic Progress where we had very limited account of tries, everybody had to have Defile on Super Emphasize. Defile was one of those abilities that if you screwed it up, it was a wipe. It was game over and you looked like the biggest noob in the universe. Not only did you die, but so did everybody else. So we have that on super emphasized. And there's no way you could screw it up by having it on super emphasized. Your screen literally takes over your character pretty much. And all you have to do is press a direction. Very, very cool option. And I love Big Wigs for having this. I'll give you some other ideas of where this is helpful. We've mentioned Shrapnel. I just want to go into the Bastion of Twilight and talk about the Ascendant Council Heroic. Now, on heroic mode, we have this ability called Frost Beacon. A little fun trivia story again. Ascendant Council Heroic, even by guilds that had the whole tier on farm, would sometimes skip Ascendant Council Heroic. Not just because the loot was pretty crappy, unless you desperately needed a strength trinket that never dropped. Oh, thank you, Preacher. Uh, but Frost Beacon was just a huge pain in the ass. Because... Literally, if anybody screwed this up, again, it was a complete raid wiping ability. Basically, a frost orb would spawn in the room, one person would become the frost beacon, and the orb would start to chase them. You combine that with, we had static overloads, gravity cores, hardened skin being cast that needed to be interrupted. You had to get X amount of debuffs, people were running left and right, lightning rods were shooting lightning out your ass, your pubes were on fire. All this kind of crazy crap going on during the fight, and a lot of people screwed up frost beacon. They really, really did. And if frost beacon hit the frost orb, it was game over. The whole raid instantly wiped and died. It was sad face. Really, really sucked balls. It was one of those fights that were skipped. What we could have done is gone into Big Wigs, gone into Frost Beacon, clicked this, and super emphasized it. We're never going to screw that ability up again. All we need to do now is just play our normal game. Simplify the issue, as we always try to tell you guys. Simplify your goals. Simplify a way of dealing with something, and it's happy, happy days. Really, really very cool. Absolutely love it. So there you go, guys. Those are a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. The last one is here. This is the Big Wigs normal one at the top. We actually have an option for super emphasize, and this is what exactly what it does. You get uppercase letters. All messages are super emphasized. A countdown. It is going to go five, four. It's absolutely cool. And we can also have flashing red lights. Flashes the screen red during the last three seconds of any related timer. Your screen goes balls to the wall, guys, okay? So configure your big wigs, make your life easier. It's one of the biggest downloaded mods in the game. Hardly anybody knows how to use it properly. There you go, ballers. You have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.